Hey guys, Sunish here with a beautiful day actually. I'm looking out my window right now. It's quite nice outside for once. It uh, seems like it's been... <laughs> it seems like spring took forever to get here and I've got a feeling that we're just going to drop right into summer. So anyway, let's get into this Heroes of the Storm video. We have Sonya, ETC, Nova, Witch Doctor, Zeratul on our team and Arthas, Witch Doctor, Abathur, Tassadar, and Sonya on the opposing team. Uh, if you can't tell, looking at the giant dragon head in the middle of the mini-map, we are on Dragonshire. I'm going to go bottom here with Zeratul. Uh, looks like middle is going to be Sonya, and the top lane is going to be Nova and Witch Doctor. So we're going to move out here. So my first talent I pick up is the one that incre decreases the uh, mana cost of Guitar Solo, which is ETC Self Heal, by 50%. So that allows me to use it more often, which is really nice. Uh, we do end up almost got Arthas. Yeah, we got Arthas. Get out of there, uh, Zeratul. Quasar, or whatever your name is. I think it's Quasar. There you go, man. You got it. All right. So we both use the well, and we have just the witch doctor down here, Mr. Kiss. Wonder if he's a fan of the band. Oh, um, ooh. Yeah, that was bad. I just got totally stuck in the middle of all these giants. I'm going to dash into him. And then I think I pushed him out of the way of the cleave there, but that's all right. I happen to like this guy's name. Come on, so we have Arthas moving down here using his, uh... <laughs> I got stuck in the middle of the zombies again. Uh, I really need to keep an eye on that. So Arthas is down. Looks like the Dragon Shrine, or dragon shrine is up. Or Shrines are up for the Dragon Knight, I should say. Looks like Abathur is helping these guys out. So we're going to try and take control of this shrine, which we do have control of it. I get stuck inside the zombies again, and Arthas body blocks me and shoves Frostmourne in my gut. Oh, that hurt. All right, looks like we lost the bottom shrine, and Sonya's doing all right in the middle. Top shrine is still okay. Neither team is really pushing a level advantage at the moment. Well, the other team did hit four before us, but not too much. Uh, losing the Witch Doctor up top really hurt. Uh, let's see, what talent do I pick up here? Um, looks like I pick up Loudspeaker, so my knockback range from my W is even longer. I don't know if any of you guys have noticed, but they're reusing a lot. Like, I'm sure this will change before, the, before they release this game, but they reuse a lot of the same icons. Like, uh, the icon for W for face melt on ETC also happens to be the icon for uh, for Death Coil from the Warcraft 3 for Death Knights. So there we go. We have both shrines again. Looks like Arthas is here by himself with, well, not quite by himself. Uh, Abathur is helping him out. I got a bail. Or I do not want to get stuck behind that zombie wall again. Let's get out of here. Uh, we took the top shrine back, so that's okay. Actually, we just lost the bottom shrine. Never mind. My team already had the top shrine. I don't know what I'm talking about. So it looks like uh, they are off. I'm not sure where they're going. An ally has been slain. Looks like we lost Nova up top. This game is not going super well. Try to catch me again in the zombie wall. Uh, they actually have a really good combination with Arthas and the Witch Doctor. Uh, I don't think Zeratul is going to make it. The poison is going to kill him. That's one of the talents that Witch Doctor has, is that poison uh, enemy, which uh, a lot of heroes happen to have it. Nova is another example of one who has it, but it's really annoying. <laughs> I walk right into a frog there. So I'll put on my self-heal, and the enemy controls both shrines again. So let's take this down. I'm going to push everyone back here, and I think I'm going to pick up... Uh, Let's see, what do I have? What am I? Battle Momentum. Battle Momentum's a good one. I'm going to check on these giants here on the bottom. Or I'm going to go around and try and sneak the shrine. So I basically have a one on one situation here with Witch Doctor going on. I do force him backwards. And I'm going to be able to take the shrine back. 
Nova and Arthas are defending it up top. I didn't get stuck in the zombies. So I'm going to just dash through and then I'm going to stun him. He did poison me. So I'm going to throw on my uh, guitar solo, heal myself up a little bit. He's trying to kite me here to try and do the best he can. Tries to grab me in a zombie wall and I don't get him. Push him into the push him into the tower and he goes down. That was a very close fight between the two of us. Looks like Nova also died. I'm going to use guitar solo here. Pick up the regen orb and get as much of my health back as possible without having to head back to base. Which I don't know if that's going to be a good idea or a bad idea, but it's what I'm deciding to do. So now that the well's here, we'll have plenty to do. We'll have plenty of mana and health. I'm going to defend this shrine as best I can. Looks like the enemy team is just a couple of oh man, they're just a few experience away from getting their ultimate. So looks like the witch doctor is coming in here. He really wants to get the shrine back for his team. It will give them both shrines. He activates his ultimate. Gargantua and Gargantua gets trapped inside the zombie wall and can't chase me down. So this was probably a bad situation for us to be in. There's looks like they have two in the mid and they control the dragon at the moment, which means enemy dragon would have been inevitable if I hadn't have gotten that back. I think the witch doctor went off to the middle to try and help them. There he is. To try and help them control the statue so that uh, the enemy team could take the dragon back. He's trying to take the shrine back, so I'm going to go in there and I'm going to say hello. He does put, try to put me in a zombie wall. At this point, I've been stuck in that wall so many times that I am saving my Q, my power slide, until I can actually get out. Or, I've been saving it so I can get out of the dragon wall, or out of the zombie wall. That's what it is. Uh, I'm going to pick up stage dive because I am... So he's got me... St he thinks I'm stuck in here, but I'm going to stage dive onto his head. Do that, and then I should take him out with two more strikes. I got... Uh, the reason I got stage dive instead of mosh pit is I'm solo queued in this game. And unless you have a very highly coordinated team, mosh pit's really not all that useful. We do have both shrines at the moment. Now I'm just going to whack down some uh, mercenaries, use them to reduce the cooldown on my stage dive because I do have the battle momentum uh, talent. I'm going to go mid and help them secure the dragon. Looks like Tassadar's out of the way. I'm going to pick up, going to attempt to pick up the dragon. We do grab it and we took out Tassadar on the way. Looks like we have Kiss out here, Mr. Witch Doctor himself. Uh, enemy Arthas throws out a Syndragosa. And I think our Sonya is probably dead. There's not much I can do to help her out. An ally I could get back and I could try and punt their Sonya. But I don't know if that's going to work out very well for all parties involved. I'm just going to sit here and take out this gate. Fire off a fire breath. Uh, we have our Witch Doctor and Nova. I am so close to dead. I'm just going to go home. We have our Witch Doctor and Nova up top. Oh, I wanted to punt the Witch Doctor, but that didn't happen. So power slide through that so they can't slow me down. And I need some mana, so I'm going to pick this up. Going to grab this mercenary camp right now. Sonia is asking if I want to stay in the middle, uh, which I will gladly do. I think she's been struggling in the middle, having a bit of an issue. All right, come on, ETC, you can do it. Man, this is such slow going to kill these mercs with a melee with this guy. I could use my abilities to speed up, speed things up a little bit, but I not really want to do that. Looks like we have Zeratul and Tassadar in the middle still, dueling it out. The Protoss BFFs, you know, they really should be on the same team. It just it doesn't seem right seeing Protoss, or seeing Zeratul trying to kill Tassadar and vice versa. Really doesn't seem right, but Quasar is up there doing some pretty, doing some pretty nasty stuff to those minions. At least, not so much to uh, or to Tassadar himself. I'm gonna move up and help him out. So I wanted to get on the other side of Tassadar and push him back towards our towers and towards Zeratul, but that didn't end up working out. Looks like Nova wants this night camp, or at least I want the night camp, and Nova's. Gonna be kind enough to lend me a hand. 
So, you know, just a uh, by way of public service announcement, if anybody hasn't yet realized that uh, when you attack the knights, they put up a shield, or the mage one will put up a shield. So the best thing to do is to kill him first. That way, it's a lot easier to take the rest of them down, and you don't need to waste as much time, and you won't take as much damage while trying to take the knights. I say Arthas and Zeratul are here in the middle. I'm going to power slide in and use face melt to push them backwards. But yeah, this, this is actually not working out terribly well for me. Oh, Tassadar is inside the zombie wall. And I also think he got poisoned. He does use his uh, void shift to get out of there so that he will not die. I am chasing Tassadar down here. As uh, Arthas, excuse me, Tassadar activates his Twilight Archon and tries to go for the kill. He got a little bit greedy. This is just kind of a blind stage dive to see if I can hit Arthas with it. I probably should have put it a little bit further out. Uh, we do take up the fort up top. Uh, that night camp that we got was very effective at doing that. I'm going to go back and heal. Looks like Sonya is going to pick up the bottom shrine. And Witch Doctor, come on, grab the Dragon Knight, man. Buddy, gra grab the Dragon Knight. You totally can get it. Please, grab the... Oh, oh come on, man. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, well, uh, we could have had another Dragon Knight, but uh, our Witch Doctor decided to fight Arthas while he had him trapped behind his zombie wall. Which, you know, I can't really fault him for that. Sometimes people get tunnel vision and uh, don't realize the larger objectives that are going on, so we'll give him a pass for now. Like Zeratul and I are securing this top shrine. We control both once again, but we controlled both for about two and a half seconds. Actually, two and a half milliseconds. But Sonya face checks a bush right into Nova's triple tap. I'm going to try and pick up the dragon, but that's not going to happen. Uh, maybe now. I am being attacked by these pesky little spiders. They're quite annoying. And uh, once again, I get stuck on the stupid... Oh, man, that was really close. I, ha I was a half a second away from getting a dragon. And we have two Gargantuas out here, which is really annoying. Their Abathur helped out uh, by using his ultimate evolution on their Witch Doctor. Um, I think our enemy is going to secure both shrines here. Uh, maybe Sonya can hold the bottom one. Looks like the top one's going to go down. Yep, enemy does secure both shrines. Um, I can definitely keep Tassadar away from this. Maybe if he doesn't use his, if he uses his ultimate, I don't know if I can if I can keep him off of it. I'm gonna do what I can though to keep him back. He's trying to slow me down and keep me pushed backwards so that I can't fight. Uh, he uses his void shift to get away again. That is one of the most annoying abilities in this game. Really, really frustrating when you have a, almost have a kill on Tassadar and then he just up and disappears on you. Move into this bush so I de-aggro the, the minions. And then the enemy team comes in. Witch Doctor did use his poison on me. He does summon Gargantua as well. Looks like I have Zeratul helping me out in the middle. He does blink out of there. Sonya is pushing the bottom. Uh, we're going to lose the top shrine here. Momentarily. They do have knights pushing the top lane. We're going to also lose the bottom shrine. Uh... We're going to lose the bottom shrine right about now. Yep, there it goes. Come on, get in there. I'm going to do my best to hold these guys off. Looks like we did take... We took back the bottom shrine, and we have siege giants pushing right on along the bottom with the rest of our group. And this is a pretty intense game. Both teams... We still have... We have three outer forts, three tier one forts up. And the enemy team, only we've only destroyed one. And at this point, we're quite far into this game. So it's been a, been a pretty good one so far. I need to move up. And oh, no, I shouldn't have. Oh, no. They're going to get a Dragon Knight. Shoot. I got too greedy there, and I wanted to push back the minions. If I had gone straight for the kill, I probably could have stopped him. So we've got me versus, uh, I'm trying to solo one-on-one -on -one the Dragon Knight here. We're definitely going to lose the mid-fort. There's not really anything I can do to defend that. 
he does get a beautiful punt off and pushes me back behind the uh, the fence, behind the forest there. The rest of my team has shown up, so I don't think we'll be... I think I'm stuck behind the zombie wall. We do take down the Dragon Knight, and Kiss the D or kiss the Witch Doctor does go down. I try to get up there. I do... Mm, my power slide was just a little bit off. Sonia gets off a Spear of the Ancients, but the zombie wall doesn't grab anybody. Looks like their Abathur did manage to kill one of us, kill our Zeratul while he was... Uh, cloning Sonia. I'm going to try and take down this uh, Merc camp right here. Looks like Sonia is going to help me out. I believe we have Nova and... Well, okay, just Nova. We had Nova and Witch Doctor in the middle. But now there's only one of them. Uh, looks like Sonia, I just noticed she was trying to Hearthstone out, so I'm going to stage dive on top of her. Uh, she will still get away thanks to her uh, wind, uh, Whirlwind. But, oh, come on, come on, get Arthas, get Arthas. There we go, we did get him. Like I was going to say, if we didn't get a single kill out of that whole thing, that was going to be sadly, that was going to be a sad situation indeed. Uh, this is probably not a good place for me to be. This is definitely not a good place for me to be. Let's go. So I power slide out of there. Uh, Sonia's in the middle. is trying to slow me down. I am completely out of mana, so we need to get back. Get behind the gate, Sonia. Come on. You can do it. Gargantua has been summoned by their witch doctor. And the shrines are back up in 25 seconds. Looks like witch doctor is going to do the uh, close one. He does not get away. Too bad Abathur got a clone off before witch doctor died. If we could keep him alive, if we could kill him before he can use his ultimate, that would be a great advantage. That would be a great win for us. Uh, unfortunately, I th yeah, there it is. There's Gargancho. I don't think we're gonna, we weren't going to be able to do that. So we have the shrines are back up. I'm going to go down to the bottom and take out this shrine. Hopefully, someone on my team goes for the top. We do have both teams have their knights going for the middle or going across the top. Excuse me, not the middle. I'm gonna pick up this regen orb. And just hack down the enemy mercenaries or the enemy minions here. It's like we just lost Witch Doctor. Oh gosh, I don't know if you guys saw that up in the corner, but Witch Doctor's body just came flying around. Oh man, they got these siege giants on bottom, and Arthas is going straight for the shrine. I really should, I shouldn't be focusing on the giants here. I really should be going for uh, for Arthas to try and slow down the Dragon Knight. So I don't know what I can do to really stop this. Enemy Dragon Knight is already on its way up the middle. Which is not good news for us. Especially because the gate is pretty much dead. They'll be through it any minute now. Nova almost dies. I'm going to pick up uh, the talent Rock God. Which makes my stage dive do even more damage. And it makes it cast faster. Which is, you know, nice pretty much all around for me. Looks like we're going to lose the mid fort. I'm doing what I can to keep our enemies off of our fort so they can't attack it. I don't know if it's going to be enough here. We do lose the tower. Uh, Zeratul is using his uh, ultimate and he's trying to do as much as he can. Trying to go after Witch Doctor and Sonya. Arthas is here and he goes down. We have a Abathur summoned Arthas clone who also goes down. I'm going to try and track down Tassadar here. So all in all, we didn't take too much damage from that Dragon Knight. Would have been better to not let them have it in the first place, but we do end up getting it. Looks like Nova killed uh, killed Sonya with a triple tap. I'm going to Hearthstone home so I can heal up and get some mana back. Uh, I think all of the mercenary camps should be respawning here very shortly, if they haven't already. They actually reset after the Dragon Knight gets killed. So it's really nice. You can see that they all go all at once. So the timers reset once the Dragon Knight dies, which makes it kind of nice. Looks like our Witch Doctor wants to... What does he want to do? I'm not really sure. He's pinging something up there. Looks like... 
He's trying to stop uh, Tassadar from taking those siege giants. I'm going to do what I can to help him. Mm, let's see. I'm trying to debate whether I should go help him or whether I should go here. So it looks like I stage dive over there. And we do force them back. He throws up his ultimate. We take out Tassadar. It looks like Witch Doctor stuck between the zombies and a tree. And we do pick up the giant. Or we do pick up the siege giants. Arthas is coming in. So I'm gonna do what I can. I don't think we're gonna. I don't think we're gonna get this. Oh, Arthas gets stuck behind the zombie wall. Unfortunately, his AOE aura kills them all. Although, and we do end up killing him. So that worked out really well for us. We were able to deny them those giants and pick up a triple kill. At this point, we do have a one level advantage, but both teams have been incredibly evenly matched thus far in this game. So I'm gonna take down these siege giants. I'm doing my best to avoid their attacks to keep my health up. Looks like our siege giants are pushing. We did take out their bottom tier one fort, uh, thanks to that, uh, thanks to that little maneuver there we pulled, where I stage dove over to the other camp. And it looks like they're actually doing going almost uncontested on the bottom. We're doing they're doing quite a bit to push us back. Our our siege giants are doing quite a bit to push the enemy back. Looks like Tassadar is going to help them out. And uh, those siege giants aren't going to make it very far. At this point, the dragon knight's probably not really worth it. Uh, mercenaries are going to be stronger. And the heroes are going to be able to kill the dragon knight in most very, very quickly in most situations. He does not scale very well into the late game. So Tassadar is trying to get away here. He does have Abathur helping him out. Uh, looks like our dragon knight went top. Uh, my personal choice probably would have been to push it middle, but this one is good too. If we can take out that keep up top, then we can get uh, we can get some siege giant or some siege minions moving along there. So we do take that out. I decide to stage dive in to help out my team. Uh, this might be a bad situation for us to be in, uh, especially because Tassadar does have his ultimate up. Which turns him into a ridiculously strong uh, tank. He does a an absurd amount of damage and he is ridiculously hard to kill when he is in his Archon form. I get away thanks to a couple of power slides, but I think we lost... Yeah, we lost three members of our team, which was not a good situation. Does not put us in a good situation. I'm not really sure if trading a keep for three members of our team was really worth it at this point in the game. Because the respawn times uh, are so long that it makes it rather difficult. It makes it rather difficult to uh, hold once the enemy team starts pushing. So we've got three enemies coming in on this very damaged fort. I'm gonna do what I can, but I don't think it's going to. I don't think it's gonna be enough. Um, hopefully, I don't end up getting myself killed in addition to losing the fort and giving them even more experience. I see they've already caught up. So our gargantua goes out. The enemy gargantua also goes out, and everyone is just beating the crap out of everyone else. We have Sonya coming in. Uh, we do manage to take out Arthas. Unfortunately, I'm going to try and stage dive over there and hit uh, hit their witch doctor with it. Hi, Kiss. How you doing? He does trap me behind this uh, zombie wall. <coughs> so I'm going to move in and hit these uh, mercenaries. Looks like they picked up some. They picked up their siege giants on bottom. I'm going to get the knights. Try and do this as quickly as possible. If I, uh, what I'm doing here is I'm power sliding across the mo the largest number of uh, creeps possible. That way I damage uh, as many of them as I can. So it looks like Witch Doctor is going to help me out. He does trap me behind a zombie wall, but the zombies are now. He does have the talent that makes them makes it so they can move. So our giants are going out. Looks like we have an even number of siege, of siege giants on the bottom. Uh, Sonia just took out 
the enemy siege giants. At this point, we could use a six giant push along the bottom. Uh, that would help out immensely. Especially because we don't really need to push the top all that much. We already have the keep up there. I'm going to take out these siege uh, minions so they don't do a lot of damage to our core. So we have, I think, three siege giants still alive on the bottom. Witch Doctor wants to go defend top. What my team needs to do, what we should be doing is pushing the bottom with uh, all of those siege giants. A six siege giant push on bottom could end the game very quickly, even at this point, uh, even at this point where the heroes are incredibly powerful. So four of them are still alive. I think we will take out that bottom fort. It's going to be very close. I don't know if uh, anything will actually come from it. So we do. We did end up taking out the bottom fort. Our enemies do control both. Uh, ooh, I barely dodged that Cindergosa charge. So Nova and I are trying to push back this very large creep wave. She's doing what she can. If we had helped out with that push, we probably could have ended the game right now. We should have, uh, yeah, this is a, an Abathur Sonya that is chasing me down, so she can be completely uh, suicidal and not cause her team any harm. Looks like our Sonya goes down. Our palace is being attacked by the Dragon Knight. I'm going to stage dive over there to help out. <clears throat> Push him backwards and slow him down. That way he won't be able to do much. Looks like Arthas is the one that was in the Dragon Knight. And he goes down. At this point, it is uh, our middle has collapsed. And the only lane that the enemies have complete is their middle lane. They actually don't have anything on the top or the bottom. So if we can pick up the Giants, uh, we can end this game pretty quickly. It looks like Nova's going for the top one. Nova's going for their Giant camp. The Witch Doctor is going for our Giant camp. And I am going to go for the Giant camp on the bottom here. It looks like uh, Abathur just took just uh, put himself inside of a Tassadar. Well, uh, let me rephrase that. Abathur just picked up Tassadar as his clone. Looks like Sonya's going down. Um, that is the Abathur Tassadar that is in his Twilight Archon form. So we now have two Twilight Archons to deal with. Nova goes down. Uh, we do manage to take both Twilight Archons out. Looks like Sonya is might get away. Yeah, looks like Sonya's going to get away. There's no point in trying to chase her down when she's in her Whirlwind form. She's too good. She's too fast that way. Looks like Sonya is picking up some Siege Giants. The bottom Siege Giants. So I'm going to pick up the these two uh, next to our enemy's camp. Looks like we have Zeratul on bottom being pursued by Arthas. And then we have Sonya picking up those. Whew, I finally get a second to breathe. This game has been very action-packed from the very beginning. Uh, looks like our palace is under attack by some enemy minions. And we ended up taking out Arthas on the enemy team. This is going to be a perfect opportunity for us to end the game. If we push with all four of these siege giants... From the camp Sonya got <coughs> and the camp that I got, we should be able to end the game very quickly. Unfortunately, I think I may be alone. Um, yep, doesn't look like anyone on my team is coming to help out. Gargantua does come out, so Witch Doctor has used his ulti, and uh, three of the enemy team members are here. We have Zen Gamer, their Abathur, as a Sonya Ultimate Evolution we have so no one on my team came to support the Siege Giants basically we just picked them up and that was about it we picked them up and just fired them at the enemy let them go do their thing and that has led to I don't think we did any damage oh wait yep we did 7% of the damage uh, to their core so we do take out the Abathur clone um, Twilight Archons there Tassadar is just completely beastly. Completely beastly. I dodge another 
Frost Dragon, Frost Drake or Dragon from Arthas, and we do we have a four on two advantage here. Make that a it's still a four on two advantage. And I am up to untouchable on my kills. I have 20 of them. I have 20 takedowns. We need to get back so that uh, nothing happen nothing bad happens right there. Okay, Witch Doctor, it's time to go. Let's go, man. Sony and I are bailing on you. So I'm going to throw up my Hearthstone here. Uh, let's see. Top Shrine is down. We have enemy knights coming in along the top. Oh, Sonya does hit our Witch Doctor with a great spear of the Ancients. Uh, I don't think he's going to be able to... I don't think he's going to make it. I was going to stage dive in there to help him out, but then I realized that I would not be saving him. He does go get himself killed by the... Uh, by the tower. We have both shrines up. At this point, it's more to just deny the enemy from getting the dragon than to try and secure the Dragon Knight ourselves. We have Sonya and myself up top. Looks like we lost the bottom shrine. Uh, we've got enemy Tassadar here. Void shifting out of the way. I'm going to do what I can to push this lane. I don't know if it's going to be super, super much that I can do. But it will be pretty interesting. Um, looks like Arthas and Tassadar are coming to get me. I'm going to stage dive onto Sonya, but uh, I was hoping I could do more damage to her, but that shield didn't end up saving her life. So we have three of us in the middle. They say Sonya is going to go all... I don't know what she was doing. I'm not really sure what the point of that was. Enemies control both shrines at the moment. I'm going to stay here and try and keep them back. Uh, their palace did get healed up back to 100%, so I'm guessing that Abathur probably got the uh, mule talent to heal so that he could repair their buildings. It's like, we control both shrines now. Oh, come on, come on, get get Tassadar. Oh, we're not going to get Tassadar, are we? Nope. So Sonia takes out Zeratul with her Whirlwind. Abathur is putting some mines down on the Dragon Knight <coughs> to try and keep me from trying from securing it. Looks like we're going to lose the top shrine. Uh, Sonya gets off a great spear on me. I'm going to get behind our minions at this point. We fire off that uh, face melt. And we have got uh, Siege Giants moving in on the bottom. Tassadar is going for the enemy sh or for the bottom shrine. He's completely ignoring the siege giants. We have two sets going uh, for it right now. So I'm trying to get my team to come push the bottom. I'm pretty sure we can end the game right here, because the enemy team is very scattered around the map and they are not. Uh... So the enemy team is very scattered around the map, and unfortunately, my team didn't come in to help out at all with this. So I'm going to attack the shrine as quickly as possible. At this point, we're in uh, kind of a base race situation. So I end up dying. Uh, kind of sad about that because I did have 20 takedowns. Um, looks like the Dragonite's the only one there. We did take their palace down to 45%. At this point, both teams have been level 25 for a good while. Unfortunately, I was hoping that I could base race them because we would have won that base race. Uh, well, I'm dead here. I'm just going to look around the map, try and help, uh, try and tell my team what's going on. We have mercenaries that are back up. I'm just checking on my takedowns right there. Looks like our enemies are taking that mercenary camp. You could tell because you could still see the giants start to cower on the minimap when somebody kills them. So it's a pretty good way to check that. Uh, looks like, oh no, we have a four on two situation in the middle. Uh, we're going to lose two members of our team and I'm still dead. Oh no. Oh, that's going to be the game right there. I'm going to do what I can to keep them back, but they have four enemies uh, coming up the middle. And they wisely make uh, 
make t uh, Abathur the tank because uh, he's going to die anyway if he times out. I'm trying to stop Sonya here from just destroying our core. It's me versus three enemies. We have 10% left. 6, 2, 1, and that's the game right there. Oh, man. We had knights pushing up on the top. We had uh, Nova picking up the mercenaries on bottom. Kind of sucks to lose a game like that, but I'm still going to upload this one. I really did enjoy this game quite a bit. Uh, I enjoyed both casting it and playing it. And I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. Um, you can't win them all. <laughs> and I will see you guys later.